The biggest thing that young men probably suffer from, well, there's a lot of things, but in my opinion, I feel like the biggest thing is loneliness. I feel like loneliness is prevalent with very many young men. And if you're not lonely, you probably have a friend group that you shouldn't really be with. But at the same time, you can have a good friend group. It's just that kind of loneliness feeling is still there. Even though you know a lot of great people, you're cool with these people, they're cool with you and everything's going great. You still feel like something is missing in your life. I feel like that goes for many young men, many more people than you actually think, because I feel like people, when they kind of feel this sort of loneliness, this sort of emptiness within them, they think it's just them. They don't think that any other guys around them, their same age or around their same age are feeling this kind of way. But the truth is, at least from my experience and talking to people, that it is that this kind of like lonely, empty feeling is prevalent in a lot of young guys. Now, I'm not going to try and visualize your situation because I know that everyone's situation watching this video is at least somewhat different, but I'm going to try and give you kind of a perspective into my situation and why I kind of felt this way, or at least why I think I felt this way. And hopefully I can give you some insight into kind of conquering this sort of loneliness and embracing it properly. Because a lot of people say embrace loneliness, but they kind of don't do it properly. They do it in a way where they kind of isolate themselves from people willingly. They stay away from situations. And personally, I think that's wrong because social situations can really change your life significantly. And I have many examples of that in my own life. There are people that I would not have met if I didn't take the chance to actually go out and talk to them. And now they're people that have provided me with so much. They're great people to be around and I'm very grateful for them. So I suppose the introductory message could be like, don't isolate yourself completely from other people. Don't try and make yourself lonely. But being a man who's trying to improve himself, you're naturally going to slowly become more isolated over time. Not isolated in the way that you have no friends, but isolated in the way that for the majority of the day, you're by yourself. For the majority of your week and even your month, you're by yourself. And for a lot of young guys, they can't take this because, well, being by yourself sucks, plain and simply. Like, it's not fun. You're probably bored a lot of the time. You want people around you to talk to, to have fun with. And I know, but the moral of the story here is that if you want to climb a mountain that nobody else has climbed, you have to do it by yourself, right? You can bring a team with you, but the team will eventually fall trying to get to the top because not many people can get to the peak of that mountain. But if it's something that you're after, then only you alone can truly achieve it or else, or at least you can achieve it by yourself only not necessarily with other people. Now, this doesn't mean, again, isolate yourself completely because you can take advice and help from other people. It's just that in order to get to that goal yourself, that thing you really want to achieve, you can't always be around people. You can't always hope that people come and help you and push you up and boost you up. You need to give yourself that boost because once you truly achieve that peak, you will have the skills necessary to achieve all the other peaks around you. Because you can visualize life as a mountain, one giant mountain, or you can visualize it as hundreds of different mountains. You climb to one peak and now you go to the bottom of another mountain and you climb to the other peak. Let's say you achieve a degree in something at school. Well, once you're done that, let's say you want to go into more something like lifting weights at the gym, bodybuilding, for example. You have to reach the peak of that, right? There's so many different peaks in life. Why would you just stick to saying life is one big mountain? You could think of it like that. And this sort of self-improvement type thing kind of resembles one big mountain because we're doing everything holistically. But life, in my opinion, is many different mountains. And I feel like in order to climb the mountains, you take advice from people, you talk to people, you learn from their mistakes, you learn from them, you give advice to each other, you have a good time, right? I'm not saying don't hang out with people. But to actually stand at the peak, only you can stand at the peak. If this is the peak, it's like this sharp, not sharp, but like, you know what I mean? It's a point, it's a peak. One person can stand on that peak. There's no room for two people. So if you stand there by yourself, you can't have another person beside you. You can have people along the way push you, give you little boosts, little uh, tips of advice, tell you what the weather on the mountain is like, tell you what it's like at 5,000 feet. You know what I mean? Like try and use these metaphors to kind of visualize what I'm talking about. Let's say your goal is to like win your pro card in bodybuilding. Like I'm giving bodybuilding examples because it's what I'm into. But you know, notice by the shirt. If I can freaking get it right because this camera is like inverted. There we go. Bodybuilding is life. But yeah, that's something I'm into. So I'm going to give a lot of examples regarding that. But let's say you're trying to go for your pro card. You're trying to achieve professional status in that sport. You're going to need coaches. You're going to need information from your friends. You're going to need to, well, not your friends, like people who are into the sport as well that are your friends. 
You're gonna need insight into your physique because you can't really judge your physique by yourself because there's other people judging it for you. So you need people helping you here and there, but nobody is going to give you the discipline required to diet or train when you're like two weeks out, depleted and exhausted, right? That's the kind of loneliness part you need to embrace. So going back onto the topic, um, the initial topic was that kind of loneliness, the emptiness feeling that we have as young men, most of us. And if you don't have it, then you're doing something right with your life. And the thing you're doing right with your life the thing that guys who are feeling this should actually try and do as as much as people say you need to have a goal to achieve you need to have things in your life that you work towards you need to be busy because if you're not busy you have time to sit down think and just lose yourself kind of not in the right way but you kind of just lose yourself you start thinking about oh my life I'm, I'm 18 i'm 19 i'm 20 i haven't done anything and it just all goes kind of bad right so you don't want that happening you want to be busy you want your mind to be occupied on something productive or many things productive. If you can do that, that's great. Again, holistic self-improvement, you kind of visualize it as one mountain. Again, I don't think it's one mountain. I think there's many. But holistically, if you if you stay on the holistic self-improvement journey, there's many things occupying your mind. You don't have time to really be lonely. And you sort of begin to embrace the loneliness because you realize that being by yourself, being one of a kind in your own way, as corny as that sounds, is kind of the only way to get to the peak of those mountains so what would i do immediately if i'm feeling this lonely feeling right now first of all you need to have the mental resilience to tell yourself that this is bs this feeling is not real i'm not the kind of guy who thinks that emotions aren't real you should ignore them but i am the kind of guy to tell you that most of these emotions are just cues from your brain to relax and be lazy if you're feeling this lonely kind of feeling your brain will your mind will do everything it possibly can to get you to stray away from the path. You just have to keep yourself on the path. And that kind of builds a mental resilience to where once that feeling continues to come, you continue fighting it off. You continue saying, no, no, I'm not lonely. My life is not depressing because I have great people around me. I have ambitions. There's so many other people living in worse situations than me. I know everyone's mom says that growing up. Be grateful for everything. It's true, though. Genuinely, like there's so many other things that could go bad for you that you're not even realizing. And to have that gratitude, I feel like gratefulness, gratefulness, <laughs> gratitude is the number one thing you can have to kind of counteract this sort of loneliness and emptiness feeling. Because what it really stems from, it's kind of like a feeling of resentfulness to the world. You kind of feel like, oh, I'm sacrificing all this, but I'm not getting anything in return, you know? And that's not really the case because you're getting so much in return. It's not just the, the value you get in return. It's not just like, oh, I get $10,000 in my bank account if I start a business in six months. That's not the value you get. It's not a guaranteed value. Do you know what the guaranteed value of embracing loneliness and going down this path is? What does David Goggins always say? The mind. Your mind becomes harder. You callous your mind. Whatever else you do in life, you can do it 10 times better more efficiently, easier than everyone else because you've already gone through this process. You've already built up your mind through doing these things. It's a continuous sacrifice without regret, without a reward in the actual end of that sacrifice. You learn to embrace the journey instead of just the destination. If you're starting a business, you learn to embrace the actual process of building the business instead of making a million dollars in the end. That's what you need to focus on. See, you can kind of tell that in this video I've spread out my thinking i've talked about so many different things is because this loneliness issue has a lot to do with everything but it's also kind of has to do with one thing and it's just your mind so at the end of the day if you get your mind right if you throw away these foolish thoughts that you might just have while you're just sitting down taking a dump get rid of these thoughts like willingly stop thinking about them start thinking more positively write down on a piece of paper things you're grateful for and slowly but surely, things will start to look a little bit brighter. Yes, you could be in quite a dark place if something bad happened to you in your life, which in that case, you have to kind of take it a different way. You kind of have to take it in the way that God or whoever you believe in or whatever you believe in has given this to me as a gift and I need to use it as a gift instead of using it as something that will make me resentful, that will make me hate my life. Because if I hate my life, then I'm just wasting time. And that event... Any event, regardless of whether it's good or bad, is something that you can use to better yourself, to strengthen your mind, and to improve in whatever you want to improve in. Every single thing that happens to you. And I know it's very hard to say as someone who hasn't truly experienced like a big loss in my life. 
I understand that. And when the time comes, that'll be very difficult for me. However, to the people who are going through that, I can't give you full advice because I don't have the experience. But I would just say that if you're lonely, if you're in a place right now where you feel like something is missing within you and you need to fill a hole by doing something, a lot of guys think it's getting a girl. I'm not quite sure if that would help you. If you think it does, I guess, but a lot of guys go super deep into that hole and that kind of pulls them down and they can't really escape. It's kind of like the black hole of freaking dating, I guess, if you want to call it that. But you can't really get out of it. And that's a big problem with girls, in my opinion. I don't think it really fills the emptiness within you. I think what fills the emptiness is a purpose within yourself. And if you truly build up your character, that kind of hole inside of you that you feel like is there, that is the reason for your loneliness, kind of gets filled up with your passion and your dream. And if I could really summarize this message I'm trying to give, it's that make a lot of friends, be around people who you know want the best for you, who you know are going to help you and you're going to help them. And you're both kind of climbing up two different mountains together, right? You can help each other, you know, using the metaphor again, you can tell each other what the weather on the mountains are like, what to prepare for, what materials to use, things like that in a metaphorical sense. And you kind of help each other. That's true friendship in my opinion. But at the end of the day, you're still going to feel the loneliness if you don't have something to strive for. And truthfully, if you don't have a strong mind, I think at the end of the day, it just comes to having a strong mind. These things cannot be filled with like material gain, like earning money or earning a girlfriend or anything like materialistic. It's not going to be filled by these things. It's going to be filled by your own passion, your own dedication to something, and especially your own mental strength, your ability to callous your mind and overcome things. So whenever you get this lonely, empty feeling, tell yourself that this is fine. Tell yourself that you're stronger than this. You can overcome this and kind of wipe that feeling away. Bring the thoughts into your mind that you know are important to your future thoughts about like what you're going to do later. Um, thoughts as to how you're going to climb the mountain, the mountain being whatever the goal is you want to achieve, right? So focus your mind on the things that matter most and this loneliness feeling or, or at least this loneliness feeling will disappear or at least it will somewhat start going away as time goes on. And you will see that through the pursuit of a goal, through the pursuit of something much greater than this feeling and through gratitude, it will slowly go away. So I hope this video was informative to you. I hope you can kind of overcome this feeling a little bit. I think it's a necessary part in our lives. I think it's something that sort of hints that we're going in the right direction. But again, if you liked the video, I'd appreciate a like on the video. And um, I'm going to share more of my, uh, what are these, lessons, meditations, whatever, uh, in the future. So yeah, thanks for watching, bro. See you in the next one. Reject mediocrity, embrace mastery.